right, so we are just two days away from News Nation's Republican primary debate. It is at the University of Alabama. News Nation's own Elizabeth Vargas will host the two-hour event along with SiriusXM's Megyn Kelly and Eliana Johnson with the Washington Free Beacon. And in just a short while, we will hear from the Republican National Committee on who will be qualified to make the big stage. North Dakota Governor uh, Doug Burgum did not make the last debate or this one dropped out of the race earlier today. And now there are questions about whether Chris Christie will make the cut. We don't know yet. News Nation's Kelly Meyer. Uh, she is live for us from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Uh, Kelly, this night will be a big moment for the remaining candidates. It's so exciting. I'm so jealous. I've been following your Instagram posts all day. The set looks amazing. Uh, what, what are you seeing out there? Yeah, it's pretty incredible and, and, a, and a big moment for News Nation. Uh, it's a, a big moment, but it also could be the smallest stage yet. You see four podiums there, but after tonight, as you were talking about, there may be just three, and the stakes really couldn't be higher. The stage is set ahead of News Nation's fourth Republican presidential primary debate. Now all that's missing is the candidates themselves. A leader should not go out and try to alienate people for no reason. I think you got to conduct yourself in a way that people have confidence in you as a leader. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis among the candidates set to be on stage Wednesday night, along with former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley and businessman Vivek Ramaswamy. Look, I'm going to be making the case for my candidacy, and I will tell you that there are two America First candidates in this race. That's Donald Trump and myself. But the candidates won't know for sure who's rolling into the University of Alabama's campus until Monday night, when the RNC officially announces the list. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie doesn't know yet if he's qualified, but says he's confident he will be on this stage. Media from across the country will be inside this room on Wednesday covering the primary debate. Likely the last time voters will hear directly from the candidates before the Iowa caucuses, now nearly one month away. Former President Donald Trump, again skipping the debate, is still holding a sizable lead over his rival, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. He's been falling out of the air like a very seriously wounded bird, right, to the ground. And it's a very pleasant thing to see. Now it looks like he's gone so... And Trump, again, will be absent from the debate stage, instead opting to attend a private fundraiser in Florida. Brian. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.